YouTube, how's it going guys? John McLennan here. Um, I just wanted to do a video real quick to share my two cents about practicing. You know, I've been putting up all these tutorials talking about how to play pop tunes and, you know, various things. But I kind of want to talk a little bit about, I think, a problem that most people don't know about. You know, I've heard of a lot of people that practice a lot, you know, and they're practicing tunes, but they're never able to play, you know, uh, play any of the things that they're practicing without mistakes or really feeling like they mastered something. So um, <clears throat> I want to just share a couple ideas that I find effective when I'm practicing. And the first one I'll talk about is, is like simplifying and breaking things down into smaller sections. So let's say you're working on this big long piece, an arrangement, whatever, a classical piece, and I think a lot of these things can go for any instrument, you know, not just guitar. But, um, so you're working on this big, big long thing, and so many times you're just playing, 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 and then you have the spot in the middle or something, and you mess that part up, and then they go, okay, let me go back to the beginning, let's try it again. You know, and then they're playing, 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 up, oh, get to that same spot, mess up again, go back to the beginning, and you're wasting all this time, you know. So what you want to do is just go to that exact spot and isolate that and work on that. Um, and then maybe go a few bars before it, go into it, and then go out of it, you know, the, the problem spot. So uh, let me give you an example of a couple other ideas, too, as far as practicing something from different angles. So, for example, uh, let's say I have, like, what I just played for you at the beginning uh, was Hideaway by Freddie King. And let's just take the first riff here. So we have, like, okay? So, let's say you're having trouble with the slide or the hammer on or whatever, and you want to break this down. So, let me show you how to do that. To me, it's got two parts. So, first we have just that part, and then we have the slide. Okay? So, maybe I'll just take the first couple notes. Like, that's so important. Hey, if you're having trouble on something, just take the first couple notes. <laughs> so, here, here we go. So maybe your hammer-on isn't loud enough and it sounds like, you know, and you go, okay, well, just get that clean, you know. And now from the different angles that I mentioned, like try this. Practice it, say, five or ten times looking at your fingers, you know. So, so many times when you're just beginning, it's like, you know, you just got to like stare at your hand, you know, and that's like your crutch. So, for example... Loop it. Okay, then I'll practice a couple times maybe looking at sheet music or whatever I'm working from. And then I'll practice, pick a spot, you know, wherever you are and just not looking at your fingers or the music, you know. Uh, close your eyes. Till that's so comfortable you don't have to think about it. And then, let's take the next part. Two, slide to four. So maybe go. Oh no, too far. Oh, still not there. There it is, but it could have been cleaner. Okay. That's sounding better. Now I'll look away. So when you look away, it's, it's very important just to see what the notes feel like. You know? So then I go, then I connect them. So it's like once this idea is solid and this idea is solid, it's like a chain. You just put it together. So, you know, and then you don't be afraid to practice it slow. You know, you do that a couple times and the next thing you know, So that's just a couple ideas. Now just think about this. Remember to have something mastered, and that's really what I think I'm getting at, is how can you learn something so you master it? It should feel as simple as just playing a single note. So a huge part also is patience for me. So like you mastered the first phrase, okay? Now you're gonna go on to the second part, and you gotta approach each thing like that. But what happens is like, 
you'll find a lot of times is the mistakes aren't in the first couple bars of the music. They come a little bit after because what usually the case is is you have the most most patience during the uh, the first couple bars, right? So you, I'm I'm in the same place sometimes. I practice something and then all of a sudden my mind starts going, oh shoot, I got I got to practice all this other stuff, you know. But the techniques and the problem that you may be having in this song, you're gonna see it again in another song. So if you get it here, then that's only going to help you get all these other things quicker. So anyways, that's just kind of my humble opinion. Uh, some things that I've found useful. I hope uh, some of these like ideologies or concepts are, uh, are beneficial for you. So we'll catch you in the next lesson.